Hello, I'm Logic Projects, and I'm starting game development in 2021, and this is my first devlog. My goal with my devlogs is going to be to openly document my first year working with Unity and first year in game development, showing all the pitfalls and struggles along the way. The first game I want to make is a Papers, Please inspired warehouse simulator that captures the feeling of working in an Amazon warehouse and having a very stressful job that barely pays enough to cover the bills. But first, here's a little bit about me. I just graduated college with a computer engineering degree, and thanks to the pandemic, I'm not really pursuing an engineering job right now. But thankfully, my girlfriend has found her dream job out here in the middle of the desert. And so I followed her, and while she works to earn us money, she's letting me be an indie game developer until we run out of money or she decides to go to grad school. I'm really grateful for this opportunity, and I plan to make the most of this year. The first real way I started to learn Unity was by following the Unity official tutorial for making a roguelike. This was listed as an intermediate tutorial, but some of the beginner ones just seemed a little bit below my level, given that I have a full engineering degree and know how to program. Overall, the tutorial was very helpful in getting me through learning the basics of Unity, and I think I was able to pick up a lot of the things that was implied knowledge. I do kind of disagree with the way the tutorial taught code, where it would just type from top down without really explaining why certain abstractions were being used, but I think I followed along well enough to understand the object-oriented concepts they were using. I never actually finished the tutorial and got it, like, working and polished, because I had weird bugs in my build after I followed most of the code, but I decided follow chasing down bugs and getting a tutorial to work like it should really wouldn't be worth my time. I solved some of the basic bugs, but I don't think polishing and cloning something was really what I needed to be focused on for the rest of the week. Next, I spent one day making Pong, and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I think I've made a game that's kind of fun and got my head around the uni basics. The hard part of making Pong was learning how shockingly complex it can be to get the little things, like sprite sorting wires and collisions right. There's definitely a big wall to learn in Unity, and it feels good to be climbing it. That takes us into the game that I want to make first. So far I've spent a week and a half on it, and I think I'm happy with the basic gameplay loop. You can pick up boxes, and it'll tell you in the UI where to take the box to get the points. You can also throw boxes and sprint, and every once in a while, a giant bundle of boxes I'm going to call a burst will show up. I think that gets a very good hectic experience where you have to get all the boxes off the conveyor belt line and quickly pile them up around yourself to sort through when you have some downtime. I got a song from Kevin McLeod, which is called Run Amuck, and as soon as the song ends, it's going to end a shift. It's about a two minute song, and I think that's a very good play session for this minigame. After the minigame, I'm planning to add where you can spend the money you earned that day based on how well you played the minigame, and then you'll see that you're unable to afford the basic things like rent or healthcare, and then the next day will start. And at the beginning of the day, when you clock in, it'll introduce a new mechanic, and I have a long list of mechanics I think might be fun to implement, so I'm going to pick and choose to find the ones that are easiest to implement and I think will add the most to the game. The aesthetic I'm going for is that I Love Lucy bit where too many chocolates come down the conveyor belt line and they can't keep up, and I think that I'm really getting close to getting that feeling in a game. There's definitely a lot of technical challenges I've had to overcome, like getting boxes to move along a conveyor belt that also can block the player, and I struggled making it where the player could throw the box on the output line and not pick it up again so that you can't keep putting the same box on the output line to keep getting points over and over again without having the box just instantly disappear. I can also guarantee that I've done the UI very wrong because I had trouble getting it where the images and text would scale right when the image is resized. Overall, I'm really happy with my first two weeks in game development. I think I'm making a lot of good progress. I'm definitely learning a lot, and there's definitely a lot of weird technical quirks to get around, but I'm really proud of the code that I'm writing, and I think that I'm really getting my head around the object-oriented style of Unity. For my next devlog, my goal is to have the full loop done of a single day, from clocking in and getting a new ability, to playing the minigame, to spending your money at night. And then I think from that I can polish up that vertical slice and add more days until the end of the month when I plan to be done with this game. Let me know in the comments if you think that I've overscoped or underscoped. I think I actually really got a good balance with this game, and I feel like it's really manageable with my goal of finishing it by the end of January. For future devlogs, I'm going to try to be very open about the struggles of learning Unity and some of like the weird, like goofy things that I get wrong, because I feel like there's not really a good source out there showing somebody who knows nothing about Unity really opening it and struggling with it. And I'm excited to see how the community responds to something like this existing. Thank you for watching, and please let me know what you think about what I'm working on down in the comments below.